Hello, I'm Claire, and today we're going to look at how arrays can help us teach multiplication and division. Let's have a look at a couple of arrays that I've put on the board. Here we are. Look at, let's look at the first one. It's showing me I've got one, two, three rows of six counters. Three sixes are 18. If I look at the same array, I can then draw the lines going down to look at the columns that I've got. I now can see I've got six columns. In each column there are three counters. It's showing me that six threes are also 18. It's important that you don't just use an array for multiplication, but look at it again to see that it can help you with division. I can look at this array and see I've got 18 counters. They've been divided into three rows and in each row I've got six counters. Looking at the bottom one, looking at the columns, I can see I started with 18 counters. I have divided them by six columns and I've got three in each column. It's very important that you don't just use an array to show multiplication, but that you're always showing the relationship between the two things. Later on, children can be asked to use an array to solve a problem. I've got the question, what is 12 divided by three? And I've got some red counters. Okay, it's important that they, when they're making an array, that they make sure that the rows are all the same length. So I've got 12 counters here, and I'm going to divide them, so I'm going to need to make three rows. So here we go, making sure that my rows are exactly the same. There we are. I've got my 12 counters arranged. I have divided them by three. One, two, three. I can see that 12 divided by three is going to give me four. So there we are. That's how you can use an array to show multiplication or division.